everyone, it's Liv here. Um, it's been a while. Um, I hope you all are doing okay during this time. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm very awkward. It's been a while since I'm up to the mic and talking again. <laughs> again, I'm not very talkative when it comes to this, but uh, we'll get better. Um, so today I have a speed art of a character that I really want to introduce you guys to. Um, there'll be more of these speed arts soon about some other characters that they are in the same universe and everything. So, <laughs> so um, I'm going to tell you a bit of how this character was made. So um, there's a show called My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh. I know there's like a lot of people who love this show, and I'm one of them. Yes. Um, if you want to know, I love Kirishima and Bakugo. I know. Shame. You can judge me all you want. Ugh. But like, I just like the char the personalities and the whole thing. And mostly, a character that swears, that's fine with me. <laughs> so, yeah. So the character that I'm drawing at the moment she is mostly my one of the OCs that I made for this universe. And yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. <laughs> anyway, um with so her this character, her name is Rose. Um she has a last name, but I really don't wanna say it because I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so for Rose's design, because um, most of the other characters, I wanted to do different body types. So um, Rose is mostly a very rounded character. I'm very sorry. She's mostly very curvy as well. She's curvy and round, but this does play a big role in this because she's very friendly. Um, and she's very small. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna yell at me <laughs> next time. Yeah, um, so she's mostly, most, she is the shortest in the character group that I made. Um, and mostly she gets teased a lot about it, so <laughs> she mostly, she's mostly a little devil in the group, but like, yeah. Um, she's also the youngest in the group. Um, Mostly that. <laughs> um, for me, I want to, for this drawing, I mean, for this um, piece of artwork, I wanted to show off um, Rose's quirk and what, how she uses it. So in, as you can see, um, I mostly did a flexible pose that mo I can't even do. <laughs> yeah. Um, mostly because she, she is very flexible and mostly ties into her quirk, which her quirk is called ground. She can mostly create anything from the ground, but most by anything I mean mostly shields, uh, traps, and projectiles, and little platforms. Um, so um, I based Rose off of a um, earthbender from the last. Airbender because I love that show. It's so good, <laughs> and I just wanted to do like a page, like I wanted to give off a good, like show off my um, favorite shows in these characters. So yeah, you can judge me all you want, but like <laughs> I have no shame, <laughs> no shame at all, no shame. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> anyway, um, so this quirk does have its downsides. Um, she mostly loses a lot of energy since she has to be flexible to use this quirk as well as having her hands or feet on the ground. She can have one or two on the ground. Either way, she can use either. Um, uh, let me think. I need to remember. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, let me just talk about the col the colors that I picked for her outfit. Originally, her outfit was very different from this. I 
personally had to change it because I'm like I didn't like it and it was very hard to draw in different positions and I'm like no we can't do this like I didn't even I mostly didn't make this easier for me either this design but I like this more because it ties into her quirk and her personality even more because she is very um, grounded you could say no pun intended <laughs> so yeah um also her quirk um for actually not her quirk um mostly when she first got it she was a late bloomer so she got it like she was the last person in her class to get it and this is when she was playing hide and seek with her friends and when she was hiding behind a tree she put her hands to the ground and actually made a pillar that's the height of the tree and mostly got stuck up there but she fainted because she used too much energy for it um after the incident after that incident yeah, um her family took her to uluru um to be in the center of australia the heart of australia that australia yes um where she can mostly try and meditate in everything um because her family is very spiritual as well so she is very into all that spiritual stuff and a lot of meditation yes a lot of meditation <laughs> um sorry um I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think sorry <laughs> i'm trying to do this in one cut because then it'd be better but anyway uh yeah so from meditating from uluru she gains this um little ability when she well because the reason why she has no shoes on is mostly she can f uh, work better with her quirk and feel movement on the ground like Toph in The Last Airbender, but for Rose, she can mostly just feel the person's energy, mostly their heartbeat and their breathing as well. That's where um, she can tell people's emotions and mostly um, if they're lying or anything. So she's like a lie detector as well, which is really bad. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, in the group that she is mostly tied in, she is mostly the mother of the group. She will make sure everyone's alright, she is mostly there. So just imagine your friend, who think of that one friend who's like bringing snacks for everyone, being the total mom. That's, this is her. But probably do it a little bit different because um, she never lets anyone cook. Never. She never lets anyone cook after the incident of the burnt toast. Because, yeah, she doesn't trust anyone to be in the kitchen at all. It's not great. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, also, with her design, I wanted, since she was named Rose, I did not intend to do this. But originally, she had a big bun in her hair. But, um,. For a last decision, because I was like, oh, this would be fun if she had like two buns on the side. And then I accidentally, well, I didn't know, I just mentally just did this. I, I just did it, okay? I just drew it. Her hair kind of looks like two roses. Like in other drawings, she it looks like she has two roses on her head because of the spikes from the side. And like the way I drew the bun yeah it's it's how could i say this uh, very ironic that her name's rose and she has two bun roses on her head yeah <laughs> not the greatest <laughs> um sorry i need to take a moment <laughs> so yeah um yeah also um i didn't include this in the actual design but in other photos other drawings that I did she has a little um, mole on her cheek um, from this position you cannot see it because it's like right in the corner you won't see it because I drew it in this but I forgot to put it in but I was like you can't really see it at this angle anyway so we were kind of safe kind of let's just say that <laughs> 
And also the reason why she wears the mask because mostly, as every superhero does, they try and hide their identity. That's what her idea is for it. While everyone else likes to show their face, she mostly would change her looks to make sure no one recognizes her in public. So yeah. Um Yeah, I think I think that's it. I don't know. <laughs> um yeah. Uh oh. I'll explain how so she is the same age as the students in one in well, she's actually younger than some of the people in class 1A um, but she is <laughs> um, how do I say this the, I'll explain how she got into UA but it was a very late um, acceptance um, this does mostly go with the other character, future characters that will be shown um, mostly sh there was an interview at her school that um UA was pre like hosting because they were like, oh, we should try and get more international students. That's my ex <laughs> yeah. And mostly the school that these four characters were at was um very. How do I say this? Was uh not really go built to help people help these kids become heroes in the future so they accepted because mostly they did not have the facilities or anywhere in Australia for a hero agency or anything mostly there's hardly any heroes in Australia um besides Sydney Sydney's the only place in Australia that has heroes but no it's very hard to get into the area but anyway so Mostly, Rose passed the interview, so they had for the interview, sorry, for the interview they have to do a physical and a, like, mostly do physical work, mostly just beating up dummies and everything like that, um, showing off their quirk and everything, and then there's a um, actual panel that they would have to sit at and talk, talk about themselves and everything, and the reason why they want to do this. So for Rose's answer she just wanted to help people since her quirk would be very helpful with con like people in danger or like any um, hiking incidents. She does say that she wants to be more in the nature area to help protect it a little bit more as well as helping hikers and everything. So yeah. Um, so, yeah, and that's how she got accepted with the other three that will come soon. So, yeah. Uh, you might already know some of their names because I do post them on my social media a little bit. But, yeah. <laughs> um, also, um, this is not really my usual style of, like, drawing. I actually wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, because usually I do more line work in everything. As you can tell by my little character just serving on the pen. <laughs> um, I mostly tried to go with no black line, but in the end I mostly did black line around like around and some of it in the parts where it goes to different yeah. um <laughs> clothing so, or yeah, areas um, on the body and everything. I think that's it. Or defining so, um, a feature hope you guys like enjoyed the me and stuff. Talking so, yeah. <laughs> it's um, been a while. <laughs> Enjoy me talking about this. Um, if you like it, um, just leave a like and comment down below what what you want next. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. Um.